So now we have the datums uh, in for plan, but now vertically we need to fix our levels. Okay. To access level uh, information, we need to look at either a section or an elevation. And I prefer my south elevation, which is the bottom view here. And then when I click on south elevation, this is what we have. We don't have any objects, but we do have some grids and level datum. So if you pick on a level line, um, the, this lock means it's locking the endpoints of these which means if you grab this endpoint and you drag it it'll drag both of them and then click out this one's got a little bit more information so I'm going to pan over with my wheel button and zoom in maximize my visibility pick on here grab this little hollow circle and start to drag okay if you pick this split button by mistake grab this guy and drag it back up if you happen to pick in a field just pick out to get rid of it. You want this guy right there and you want to drag that down to about there. Click out, pan over. Now I'm just going to rename these. Notice level 1, level 2, level 1, level 2. Click on here once, click on the blue again. When it turns blue it's editable and we'll call this top of FDN, top of foundation. Click out and it'll rename this and it'll ask you to rename the view yes. Now I have a top of foundation level. Click on here once, click on here again, top of plate. Click out, renames this one, rename the view over here, yes. So now I have a top of foundation, top of plan. I haven't changed the height, I've just renamed and changed the kind of extents of those levels. Okay, so now we've got our levels uh, placed and we can alter the dimensions etc we can do that a little bit later let's add another aligned dimension off of our annotate tab from here to here slide up and down and place from here to here slide around and place don't pick something on your placement click or it'll actually use that object as one of the dimensional um, um, references escape escape and now we have our grid lines in plan view and we've got our level lines in elevational view all set up close to what we want and we can come back and start to model some walls and floors and roofs.